friends, it's Joyce from Morris Patch of Heaven Homestead, and today we are at the cottage. Um, I went grocery shopping. I'm a hot mess, as you can tell. It's very, very hot and humid here in the Midwest, and been over at the property working today, and I realized it's been a while since I have done a grocery haul. My kiddos were saying, you need to do a grocery haul, you need to do a grocery haul. So. I was just gonna put everything away and not worry about it, but I decided, well, I'm gonna show you the deals that I got for our prepper haul. Um, it's important nowadays to get what you can and put it away for such a time as this. So anyway, I'm gonna turn you around and show you some of the stuff that I got. And um, yeah, it's crazy. Okay, so I went to our local Dollar Tree, which is now a dollar twenty-five, and I wanted to show you some of the stuff that I got. Um, I haven't done this in a while. I have a lot of stuff, or we have a lot of stuff in storage right now in containers, but I felt the need to go get some things just because with grocery prices hiking the way they are, we have been staying away from the grocery store just because. I don't wanna spend money on things that are so crazy expensive. Um, yeah, and so we're just doing without. But I wanted to show you some of the deals that I got because I feel like these are really, really great deals. And you know what? When it comes to, the, to where we're not gonna have anything to eat, we're not gonna be picky, right? So some of the stuff you're gonna be going, what on earth are you thinking? But for the most part, most of these things are fairly good. It is stuff that we will eat and when it comes time to not having anything at all, we will eat whatever we can get, right? Okay, so right here I got 10 cans of wild caught star kiss tuna, 10 cans for $1.25 a piece. I thought that was a great deal for wild caught. I'm always looking for better products if I can. There are some white um, vinegar. I always keep vinegar on hand, always have big jugs. Um, I got five cans of white chicken. Remember those cans of meat, in case we don't have anything, we have mackerel there, and you're probably going, well, what on earth do you use mackerel for? I use that the same way I would for salmon patties. I use mackerel as well. Okay, and we got some panko breadcrumbs. I don't usually get breadcrumbs, but we do like to bread our chicken that we roll in plain yogurt and put in the oven as chicken nuggets. Uh, I got some egg noodles. We use those for different dishes um, and love them. If I don't make my own, this is a great deal. I mean, it really is. It's a big 12 ounce uh, bag for $1.25, guys. And then this Zolka here is non-GMO. It is a um, more pure sugar in its natural state. It's still kind of brownish. This is what we use for our kombucha. And if we are making lemonade, this is what we use. I got three cans of olives. Olives are expensive. And for $1.25, yeah, that was a great deal. And then this pink Himalayan salt, of course, is the winner. This bag at Walmart is almost $4.50 a bag, $1.25. These are bags that I, I like Redmond Real Salt but this is a close second. And I keep that on hand because one day if we don't have, you know, what we have, food without salt is not tasty. Okay, so we ran out of trash bags. I'm not really one to want to buy plastic bags. We use the ones that we have for trash, but we needed some big ones. And I just can't stand paying eight to $10 for trash bags. So I got these ones for $1.25. I'm gonna try them. I don't know if they're gonna work, but I thought it was worth a try. And here we got these charcoal extreme clean toothbrushes. Look at those. These are usually like $8 at the health food store. Um, $2, I mean $2, two brushes for $1.25. So that was a great deal. And I get these placards also, and they're a lot more at Walmart. $1.25, I like to keep those in my purse. Um, and then I got Gene, one of these pill things. He's taking quite a few vitamins right now. And this is just a great way to keep on track of things. And again, at Walmart, those are like $3.50. I wanted to show you the sauce that I got, guys. I'm always reading ingredients. We read ingredients for everything. And this here is in glass for one. 
$1.25 and the ingredients are good. There was no high fructose corn syrup, no monosodium glutamate. I mean, the ingredients were good and it's a big jar. Look at that. I mean, crazy, 24 ounces. So that was a great deal for $1.25. I always get those because those are good to keep on hand for a quick meal, um, good to put away for prepping. Um, and then I got these boxes of um, elbow macaroni. I got three of those. We like to make our own mac and cheese. We don't buy the box. So we love those for uh, mac and cheese. And then I got um, the rotini. We like to make um, like a pasta salad. And then the penne, I like to make like a noodle bake with that. And then of course, lasagna noodles. And then we got spaghetti noodles. And these boxes are big guys. I mean, 20 ounces, okay? For $1.25, you cannot beat that. The other day we were at Walmart and they had no noodles. They were just gone. And then of course I get parchment paper when they have it and then wax paper because we're trying to stay away from plastic wrap and this works for you know, sandwiches and whatnot. Um, and then we love black beans. That is a good meal. We could take one bag and that is a meal for us when we're making power bowls. And then great northern beans are yummy for ham and beans. And then I was so excited. Oh my goodness, we found kombucha, guys. Kombucha, look at that. Blueberry ginger, organic kombucha. Look at that. I've never seen this brand. So for $1.25, we were willing to give it a try. Here is a watermelon, here is a mango, and here is a tropical flavor. I don't usually get kombucha in cans, but we were willing to give it a try because for $1.25, that's a great deal. Usually store-bought kombucha is about three to four dollars. Okay, here, I know you're going waffle fries. My kiddos love the waffle fries over at Chick-fil-A. And we've stopped eating there because they use monosodium glutamate, which does mess, it messes with us. So they wanted the waffle fries. So I thought I will get those for them um, since we're not going there anymore. And then I got rice cauliflower. This is what I use for rice. My kiddos and Jean still eat rice, but for like fried rice, this is what I use. And I use it for eggs and just different things. And then a winter blend of cauliflower and broccoli. With the price of cauliflower and broccoli and vegetables right now, frozen is the way to go if you can get it for $1.25 versus like $4 for a head of cauliflower and $4 for broccoli. It's just not feasible, you know, when you've got one income and only so much to go by, you have to be wise. Okay, so here we got some crushed red peppers. We like that on pizza that we make ourselves. Um, we love these um, pepperoncini, or not pepperoncini, um, pimento olives with our salads. This is minced garlic in water, guys, so it's not in any kind of gross oil. We love this Tony Chachery's Creole seasoning because there's no monosodium glutamate in there, no bad ingredients. And then, of course, chilies to go with Mexican food. So for all of this, guys, it was just a little over $100.00. I could not have done this at Walmart. It would have been triple that amount. At Aldi's, it probably would have been, you know, that and a half maybe, um, if, if not double, because Aldi's prices has gone up as well. So we are just trying to stay away from the grocery store as much as possible. Our meals are not fancy at this point, but they are yummy. They're filling the bellies. We're just using what we have. I'm making bread because bread is so expensive right now. We're not buying any bread. Um, we're making muffins and cookies and different things like that. And, you know, just simple meals, like we'll have like beans and rice, or we'll just have, I'll make tortillas, and we'll just have bean burritos, and we try to stock up on cheese and freeze it. So, like I said, our meals may not be fancy, but they're filling the bellies. So, guys, the Dollar Tree is for the win. I mean, it really is. There are so many different veggies that you can get. These were just a few. But the fact that they had the cauliflower rice, this is like three or four dollars. And these as well. And they have all kinds of peppers and stuff. And I still have a bunch of those in the freezer. But this is really the way to go. You can actually still grocery shop and come home with a few more bags than you would if you went to Walmart. Um, the other day, a friend was saying that she went to Walmart, got two bags of groceries for $100. Oh my word, we came home and there was probably, I can't even say how many bags, this was like 20 bags. And that was just over $100.
But anyway, I just wanted to kind of take you along and show you, you know, what we got at the Dollar Tree. I wasn't even going to do this, but the kiddo said, please share it, show them, they may be interested.